punctuated the equilibrium. Uh -huh. Then they are saying, so it means, don't forget that here you get two marks. Here you get two marks. Mm, sorry. Okay, here you get two marks. Uh -huh. Now they are saying that the plant with, uh -huh. I even left this as a question yesterday. And then I said, I'm coming back. So make sure that you do it for me. All right, they're saying that the plant with the white flower is crossed with the red flower, and then you produce pink flowers. They're saying that white flower crossed with red flower, and then you form the pink flower. So what does it mean, pink flower? What does it mean? It means that you have the third phenotype. If you have third phenotype, therefore it is incomplete dominancy. So remember, when you are marking here, we don't mark by circling B, no, we are marking by saying B only. The word B, the word only must be there. If you don't put the A only, it means that you didn't follow instructions. A only. Then they're saying that, mm -hmm, the separation of alleles during gamete formation, law of dominance, you know, there is no nothing dominating here. S separation goes with segregation. Therefore, the answer is B only. Principle of segregation. That is Mendel's principle of segregation. Yes. Now, let's go to uh, 1.4. Hey, they are saying, take note of this. Moya Moya is a dis order caused by a dominant allele. Yesterday I told you that you have to take note of this because we can bring a dominant allele or a recessive allele. There we go. Is a dominant allele. Then they're saying that this disorder uh, uh, this disorder damages the artery supply, arteries supplying the blood, uh, blood to the brain. The pedigree diagram below shows the inheritance of moya 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 moya, eh? eh? Moya moya. Eh, eh, ne? Mm, maybe. Okay. In a family. Okay. What are they saying? Question number one. How many generations? I told you. Just count. One, two, three. Three generations. How many generations is the diagram? Three. Three generations. So just put the three there. They're saying that letter or letters of an affected male. You have here affected male, affected male, and affected male. You just come here and look at who is unshaded, who is H. So the answer becomes H. That's why it is also one tick. Therefore, the answer becomes here. Uh, the answer becomes here H. And then they are saying that. Um, hmm. What are they saying? Genotype of A. Genotype of A. Where is genotype of A? They're saying genotype. What is genotype? This one is not sex linked. It's not sex linked. So if you're looking for genotype of A, what would be the answer? And uh, therefore is gonna be because they produce a kid who is normal and is a female. It means that one allele came from uh the 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 no 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 yes the the mother and not you know, yes. One allele came from the mother and one allele came from the father. And remember, this is uh, uh, controlled by dominant allele. It means that to be normal, you have to be recessive. Therefore, the recessive allele, one allele came from the father, one allele came from the mother, so that this one is like this. Therefore, the genotype is that. Uh -huh. Therefore, that is the answer. What is the answer here? Yes. An affected uh, genotype of this. Letter of or letters of individual not biological to A and B. I told you that when you see this, it means that they just got married. This one gave rise to this. This one gave rise to this also. This and this were just coming in to marry. Therefore, the answer must be C and F. So you answer here. Uh, the answer here, the letters here, it must be. It must be C and F. So that is the answer for that. It means that now you have also have the marks there. Yes. Now let's go to the next question. Yeah, I told you that you can't go to the paper without knowing a karyotype. A karyotype. 
There we go. That's a karyotype. And I told you, when you look at the karyotype, when they bring a karyotype, before you do anything else, look at chromosome number 21. I think now you see what I'm as telling you. Okay, now let's start. How many orosomes are present? How many orosomes? The diagram below represents part of abnormal human karyotype. Yes? Abnormal human karyotype. So how many orosomes are present in the, in the diagram? Someone is going to say 20, 20, 20, 23. No, they're not 23. Someone can say 23 pairs. No, they're not 23 pairs. How many do you see? One, two, three, four, five. So the answer is five here. So the answer here is what? Is five. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're saying it is five. No? Okay, let me say it's five. Name the type of chromosome represented by 23. 23 is is 23 called gonosomes gonosomes yeah even if you say sex sex chromosome gonosome or sex chromosome yeah but we prefer uh, too much of gonosome this other representing diagram down is down is syndrome syndrome uh -huh, they're saying process during meiosis uh, of uh, process during anaphase of meiosis that resulted in abnormal uh, process that resulted so the process which resulted in abnormal it is as i told you that is called non disjunction non disjunction so the answer here is non disjunction yes they're saying state the gender of the person represented remember this is long this is short it's long this is short ne? i'm saying this is long this is short so it means that the answer here is gonna be is gonna be uh it's a male. Why? Why why a male? It's because one chromosome is long, one chromosome is short. So the answer is gonna be male. Okay, they're saying that um in a rabbit, okay. In a rabbit, what happens? Brown is dominant over white and uh, uh, long is dominant over short okay now we know that so what is next rabbit that is heterozygous when you are heterozygous what does it mean it means that you have both alleles both uh, alleles for that characteristic crossed with heterozygous it means that heterozygous uh, for both allele is crossed with white rabbit you see rabbit it means that I'm going to have B, small, B, yes, and then capital E, small E. is crossed with white, white, white. If you look at white here, is small B, small B, and then uh, this one short here is small E, small E. All right, meaning that the type of cross represented, die, high, breed, a hybrid cross. Then I'm saying that, uh phenotype of rabbit that is dominant for both characteristics so it's gonna be brown and brown and long brown brown and long brown and long genotype of white rabbit short this is it. it means that i'm just gonna combine this small b small b small e small e yeah because white and short recessive both recessive genotype of gametes gametes they're not saying genotype of heterozygous brown heterozygous brown so brown is gonna be heterozygous brown with the short ears short ears but they're saying gametes if they're saying gametes so it means that you have to form gametes here so this and this so it's gonna be b small e this and this is gonna be b small e this and this is gonna be small b small e this and this is gonna be small e small b so it's gonna be just you saying capital b small e then told you i told you circle so if you didn't circle is fine just write but leave a space and then you write small e small b like that a space must be there yes so now those are the gametes that's why they give you two marks here so one mark and then one mark there yes uh -huh. let's go to another question let's go to another 
question DNA we talked about DNA ne? we talked about it ne? yeah okay <laughs> they're saying